Hey, I'm Eva. <laughs> so welcome to this video. I'm super excited about this video because today we'll talk about mindset shifts that really helped me when it comes to my entrepreneurial journey and that hopefully help you too because mental health is important when you're an entrepreneur, especially because you are what brings your business forward and without you and your mental health, there is no business. So the first mental mindset shift that I had to do was when it comes to comparing myself to, to people who are much further along in their entrepreneurial journey than I am. And that's super, super important to, instead of feeling jealous and getting down on yourself that why are you not further ahead, instead of doing that, become curious and see, okay, this other person is further ahead than me. Can I learn from the other person? Can I maybe take some steps that they do and implement them in my day-to-day -day life? Can I learn from them? So becoming curious instead of getting down to yourself and also recognizing that every person is on their own journey and has their own timeline, has their own challenges. So maybe it takes another person... Um, two years to accomplish a specific goal and it takes you 10 years to accomplish a specific goals in the end it doesn't matter if you are okay with your own journey and i think that's really really important that as long as you keep working on your goal the timeline doesn't matter as much and another really really important factor that plays into that that helped me too was to understand privilege um, and with privilege, it means that you were born in certain circumstances or you had access to certain people. For example, you're born in a wealthy family and, and your parents have a lot of business connections or get you into to a specific university or school with a lot of connections. You will have a different starting point than someone who was born in a poor family and didn't have those connections or maybe have a lot of habits. Um, that they just learn from their parents that are maybe not very positive, you will have very different starting points. And so usually the person born in maybe poor circumstances will have to fight more and it will probably take them longer to achieve their goals. And I think that's very, very important um, to remember that when you compare yourself with a certain entrepreneur that you look up to and really understand, okay, what was their family situation? Did they have money growing up? Did they have support growing up? What challenges did they overcome? Not to, not to justify yourself or something like that, but just to understand and that there are different starting points for different people. So if it takes you longer, it is okay. It's, for example, if you grew up in a, uh, with parents who have a terrible abusive relationship and um, your first relationship probably you will struggle a lot more than someone who grew up in a very loving household and you can still reach your goal of creating a healthy relationship but even if you had um, an abusive you grew up in an abusive household but it will take you more work and more time so really really important to understand that privilege I mean don't take it as an excuse but understand it so that you don't get down on yourself and uh, that's really important and yeah so don't compare yourself instead of becoming jealous become curious and um, always get back to yourself to your own journey and do the best that you can and if you do the best that you can that is enough and also with entrepreneurship what I've learned is that you will always be stuck at a certain level no matter how far you get you can always be better and do better and grow more so you will always be stuck and there will always be like you will grow and then you reach a certain level and then it's always again the question okay what do I do to break that level to go to the next level and I think I struggled a lot with that, of this feeling of being stuck, not really knowing where to get the answers and not really knowing what steps to take. And what really helps me to get out of this procrastination and of this stagnation is to just do steps, even if it's the wrong direction or just do one step after the other step, because the more steps you do, the more a path will appear. And that is really, really 
a huge lesson that I've learned is to just just say, okay, I have no clue what to do. I don't know what course to take. I will just try something. I will just read one business book, do one business course, to uh, ask certain people, uh, Google it, um, watch YouTube videos, just do one step. And then even if those steps are imperfect and maybe in 10 years you will look back and you think, oh my God, what have I done? But it, it is just one step towards towards improving, towards moving forward. And usually, even if those holes, like this whole situation seems messy, it will get you to the next uh, growth. So that was really, really important to not get stuck. Instead of being stuck, the only way for it to not feel stuck is to just do steps, uh, even if they're messy. So that was really, really important. Um, understanding privilege, not get stuck. A comparison also redefining what success means to you because in the end everything is connected um, with a certain sacrifice so for example you have Elon Musk who works 100 hours per week or maybe more who sleeps in his office so he puts in tremendously amount of work and he's also very very smart so what type of life do you want and you you usually cannot have a very relaxed life um, and make a lot of money i think that's really portrayed a lot in on social media i just work one hour per day and be a millionaire but the reality of the situation is that if you want to make a lot of money you have to work hard for it you have to study a lot and yes there are exceptions of some people that just get super lucky but for the majority of people usually you have to work a lot to get to a certain level and you have to define for yourself what level you want to get to and i think that at each level is completely fine you don't need to be a multi-billionaire or a multi-millionaire um, if you say, hey, I really want to spend time with family and friends, it really comes down to your priorities. But once you have set those priorities, you, you also should not complain. So if you are not willing to put in the work, you should not complain about not having so much money. If you are not um, willing to prioritize, prioritize your family or your friends, you should not complain about not having friends because you work all the time. So everything is connected to a certain sacrifice and humans are allowed to make decisions but we also have to deal with the consequences of our decisions so that was really a big uh, mindset shift that helped me another one is to always fo focus on your efforts and don't focus so much on your end results because it can get quite demotivating especially if you start a business with no like for me, I, okay, so I started my business because I had so much, I changed my diet, it changed my whole life. It was such a huge benefit to my, to my lifestyle. And so I was just thinking, I was 18 years old or younger, maybe 16 years old and thinking I want to start a business. But I had no clue about what marketing is or sales is. So completely, and I lived in a small village and I have no, I had no connections to any people who have, who have started a business. So I was completely removed from that whole world and my only access was through social media. So, and yeah, back then it also was not what it is now, but I came across like learning from uh, different people such as Dan Log, even Carmichael or, um, yeah, just different people, different entrepreneurs, and step by step, um, I got there. And yeah, but it was, it took so much longer. I was thinking in the beginning, oh yeah, I will put in some work and then boom, I will have this amazing business. But there goes so much into having a successful business and it will usually take you a lot longer. So if you only focus on the end result, you will get usually quite demotivated so focus on the best that you can do each day focus on what you can do today and celebrate your small wins <laughs> along the way so even if you for example you host um, in the beginning usually people don't know you and usually it's really a hustle so for example you create a workshop and nobody shows up or maybe only one or two people show up you can either, either be demotivated and say okay this whole situation is not because in the end you put in a lot of effort you put in time you make sacrifices you don't spend time with friends or family and if those 
if you create those workshops and nobody shows up, it can be quite demotivating. But instead of letting it hold you back, say, okay, what do, do I need to improve here? Is it just a logical consequence because I have a small audience and I didn't promote it enough? How many people did actually subscribe? So was it something that was um, expected? Um, or did I, what is my marketing strategy? Did I market it enough? Um, how is my product? So really use it as a sign to work on your product and on your marketing strategy instead of feeling bad about yourself. And always get those first times out of the way. The first times are usually the hardest and the most painful because you take it personally. If you have, for example, a client who is not happy with your service or you have um, maybe a workshop that nobody shows up to or something, don't take it personally. Just use it as a data to move on to your progress. <laughs> so just get the first times out of the way and then you can build on them because usually the first times never really that good and yeah so these were um some lessons maybe i have another one celebrate yeah of course like celebrate the the, the progress because if you don't celebrate the progress you will probably usually get burned out at one point because entrepreneurship is hard in the beginning because there are usually so many skills that you need to figure out like marketing sales uh, administration if you have employees, how to handle employees, if you have um, then of course like accounting, there are so many skills and especially if you start at a young age or you come from a sector um, of work where you were never in contact with business, you really have to learn a lot. So just be gentle with yourself and um, pat yourself on the back <laughs> just for, for putting in effort instead of only like it's the same um, if you do it like to stay motivated you really need to motivate yourself and if you're an employee for example you get that external uh, validation usually from maybe your boss oh you did a great job but as a business um, operator or as an entrepreneur especially in the first years you need to have that intrinsic motivation and intrinsic validation as well because in the first first times if nobody shows up you will feel really motivated, demotivated, so you have to motivate yourself and acknowledge yourself and yeah, really important. So I really hope that those mindset shifts could help you um, if you're struggling as an entrepreneur. Um, yeah, on social media, usually you see that entrepreneurship is the answer and is that it is so simple, but in reality, entrepreneurship can be really tough and there are so many lessons that we need to learn and I really hope that I can give you a more realistic picture of what entrepreneurship actually is all about and it can help you so yeah take your mental health in consideration you matter you are the most important asset in your business as the business owner and as the entrepreneur and yeah so you matter take good care of yourself and I hope to see you in my next video there will be a second part of it for sure and yeah so i'm excited and if you're uh, interested in any services that i offer at this time then you can check out the description box thank you so much if you like the video give it a like subscribe to my channel and see you in my next video bye bye